I shall reign triumphant. Welcome back to Villain Review episode 53. Today, we will be looking at Knack the Weasel from the Sonic the Hedgehog comics. Real quick, I want to thank Knack the Weasel for commenting Knack the Weasel. That's confusing. Comment below who I should review next and smack that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So we don't really know too much about Knack's origins, but he's hinted at a few different things. For one, we know that he probably had some trouble with his parents, and that he and his sister Nick don't really get along because of something in their childhood. And that's all we really get from Knack's backstory, which is kind of disappointing. I do appreciate the fact that he has some trouble with his parents, but honestly, you gotta explain some of that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be assuming a hundred different things. For his sister Nick, it would have been so cool and nice to hear something that went down in their childhood, but we don't really get that. It sounds like it could be interesting, but automatically it's not when we have no idea what happened. I feel like Knack is really close to having a good reason for being a bounty hunter, but all the holes in this story just need to be filled out. Knack has a lot of good traits you'd expect to see in a villain. He's greedy, self-serving, and his loyalty is so flexible it could win gymnastics awards. Knack is also clever, but he also seems to always have a lot of bad luck. Right off the bat, I appreciate this, because oftentimes it's the main characters, you know, who always have the bad luck, so it's kinda nice to see a villain go through that as well. Knack gets very emotional when things don't go his way, and oftentimes can lose his temper because of this. He also holds grudges, and is overall a very emotional person, I, I'm weasel. All these emotions of being upset and losing his temper are things that further humanize Knack. It kind of makes him a little more sympathetic. Despite not knowing everything that happened with his parents, I could definitely see it affecting him later on in life and could easily be the reason for his trust issues and short temper. I wish there was something more concrete to confirm this or even make his motivation interesting, but quite frankly, there's not. Despite that, Knack isn't all that devoid of character and even has some interesting aspects to his personality. So it's actually pretty hard to just pick one scene for Knack, because being from a comic run, there are a lot of scenes to take into consideration. However, in a lot of these scenes, we see more of the greedy and conceited weasel you would expect from a, well, weasel. What I will say though is that Knack has some really cool fight scenes. There are plenty of examples I could go through, but I think some of these fight scenes are really cool. I've never personally checked out the Sonic comic books, but after reading about some of these fights, I definitely might consider checking them out, or at least learn about them more. Unfortunately for Knack, his origins are kind of lazy. The blueprint is there, but it just needs to be expanded. Knack also has some pretty interesting things in his personality, but with so many other Sonic villains, I'm left questioning how memorable he really is. Although with some cool fighting scenes and his lack of loyalty, Knack has some cool moments that I, I personally think are cool. I'm gonna give Knack the Weasel a 5. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks again to Knack the Weasel for suggesting himself. Hit that subscribe button and let me know who I should review next. Do it soon. The list is getting long. See you next time.